Right now, though, we're about to meet an individual who loves racing and pushing the limits. He's a triathlete with a twist. In fact, he can even do what Dan was just doing now while he's in the midst. Good job of competition. Hey, I'm Joe Salter, and I'm a juggler. I'm also a runner, and I love putting the two of them together. Jogging plus juggling equals joggling, so I'm a joggler. I got into running in graduate school, and I needed something for stress relief and just something really physical to get me going. My dad always challenged me to try to learn five ball juggling when I was little, and I never did get it down, so I decided to go out and try it, and uh, once I tried it, I was hooked. So I knew from there, uh, this was a beautiful a mind-body exercise, and it really kind of captured what I enjoy about athletics. Some people compete uh, in juggling as a sport for distance and speed, and then there's other people who get creative, kind of like me. I wanted to see if you could run and juggle a marathon. I did that. I did the forwards marathon for 26.2 miles while juggling. I said, hey, what about the triathlon? When you first you know, mention you're gonna do a triathlon while juggling, yeah, you're not gonna get a very, <laughs> a very serious response because uh, first of all, people don't understand how you'd swim and juggle, and then the biking and juggle is a little bit uh, hard to understand as well. So the triathlon was definitely something that you needed to prove it, but who would actually go out there and train for it and do it? You know, the run I had down, it was the biking and juggling and the swimming and juggling that I had to really get down. The biking was, you know, fine. Once I got used to juggling two in one hand, I would throw two balls to the other hand to switch gears. I was scared when I first uh, trained for that first triathlon. The mental aspect for the swimming definitely comes into play. You get, you get timid, you get scared, out of breath. You feel panicky at first. Your head is literally halfway under the water and you're, you're sitting there kicking constantly to make sure you're staying afloat. And then you got these three juggling balls over your head just to keep you uh, even more stressed out. <laughs> so yeah, it's a lot of uh, multitasking, obviously, and then just uh, survival. You're, you're keeping afloat and making sure you're uh, not gonna drown. So I had to keep reminding myself that I would get there and keep juggling and just be patient. And just know that pretty soon I'll be out of that water and I can actually take a nice deep breath and say I got that swim part over with. Now the bike and the run I knew would just come together and the swim part was, whew, that was the big part I want to get done and say hey, there it was, I did it, let's go. So I went out there, trained to do a triathlon while juggling. I set that world record and the next thing I wanted to see if it could be done was a backwards marathon while juggling. And I thought, hey, if I'm not gonna be the fastest, maybe I'll go for one of the most grueling uh, goals I could come up with. I struggled to do 40 seconds backwards running when I first started training. The uh, neck pain, shoulder pain I would have, turning around to look behind me every 10 seconds on a, a three to four hour run makes time go by much slower because uh, you're just sitting there constantly aware of your environment and making sure that you're not gonna get hurt. There's that uh, fear factor that, yeah, you might not be able to, but you're gonna give it all you can and see what happens. So I went out there, trained for the backwards marathon, and of course I did it while juggling. That was the most daunting uh, of them all. It just opens people's minds that, wow, uh, what you think might be impossible if you uh, problem solve and uh, get a little creative, it can be possible. Now, our ability to multitask is a really wonderful thing, wouldn't you say, Dan? Absolutely. See, you can talk, you can juggle, people can chew gum, they can walk. And the interesting thing is it has to be different channels, right? Imagine, I can sing and iron at the same time because I'm using two different abilities. But, of course, if you're texting and you're driving both visual, then that's when wires cross. I think what's interesting is some people think they can multitask, but really what you're doing is switching between tasks that you're not multitasking on, right? You're doing one task and then you switch to another task. And, you know, when you're on your computer and you have things coming up and bling, bling, distraction, this, it's always switching your focus instead of actually multitasking. It's actually quite rare to do two things at the same time, which makes this all the more interesting.